G'day folks. You can see here this is uh, a stock standard Common Garden scroll saw which is uh, purchased from my local hardware store. It's no fantastic brand or anything but uh, it has a reciprocating uh, blade uh, which goes up and down to cut the, the product that you want to cut. Now it normally has just this flat bed uh, which makes it very difficult to sort of line up cuts to cut accurately. It's really meant for cutting through bits of plywood and cutting out shapes. So I've developed a jig that I can rest the quad against and I can slide the jig backwards and forwards so that I can cut accurately each time. And this part here acts as a stopper so I will always get the same depth of cut every time. What we'll do now is we'll present a piece of quad to the jig and the saw and cut one piece just to show you how effective it is. So you have to hold the quad firmly in the jig, turn the saw on and we're presented with this little off cut. This stuff is uh, fairly fairly flexible. You can bend it a bit like that. It ten tends to generally like to return to its original shape if you give it a hand. So it's generally it's got a bit of bit of strength to it. <clears throat> on the test bench it's had a bit of a, a workout already I mean I've done this sort of thing to it probably I would say a thousand times a thousand movements now and uh, it takes it I mean this is far exceeding what it will have to do in reality but you've got to test these things and make sure that they work otherwise you're wasting your time making all the effort to make them in the first place so you can see it's really there's no to me anyway there's no sort of um, extra movement in there the pieces are still quite firm so there you have it Bye for now.